everyone, I'm Heather Kohlberg, the mayor of the town of Drumheller. We had a tremendous response on our Facebook Live event last week, so I thought it'd be a really good idea to follow up with local businesses to see what they're doing to prepare to open. So I'm here today with Heather Jones from Boston Pizza, as well as Dr. Ram, and we're gonna just walk through kind of some of the tips that you need to consider prior to opening a restaurant. And for, you know, as well as dining clients now, rather than just takeout. So, first of all, thank you both for joining me. And um, I guess I wanna start with you, Dr. Ram. What are some key elements that we need to do a restaurants prepare to open? Like, what are some key things? Thank you, Mayor, and thank you, Heather, for doing this. So, there are a number of key things. And number one thing to remember is that you're not alone with this. Alberta government has provided guidance that's specific to certain areas of businesses as well. And you can find that on alberta.ca slash bizconnect, biz with a Z. And over there, you will find lots of information to start. And it's going to have some guidance when it comes to cleaning. And I know we're going to go through that. It's going to have the guidance when it comes to the occupancy for restaurants. It's going to ask that they have certain procedures when it comes to the menus and how that might change, as well as the washrooms and how patients might flow in and out of the building. So, great. All so great. let's have that website one more time because that's important. Absolutely. So that's alberta.ca slash bizconnect with a Z. Great. Okay, so let's kind of start, Heather. Um, first of all, I see you have sanitizer. Let's talk about that. Yes, so we have sanitizer available in the restaurant and the lounge for guests to use when they come in. Um, the sign says please use the sanitizer before you sit down. If you're more comfortable with it, it's available to you. Okay, and I'm noticing you have tables kind of split up. Yes, so all the tables are set up at six feet apart. Uh, the tables that are not in use have signs saying, please do not sit at this table for social distancing. So we do have a few tables that we couldn't remove, uh, but we've tried to clear them out of here just so it looks nice, but all the tables are six feet apart so we can have people in. And Excellent. we're at 50% capacity in the patio, the restaurant, and the bar. So Keith was telling us the other day that it's really important that we have a plan, like you have to have, so if Keith walks in, he needs to see your plan. Yeah. So, so we have that. our guidelines here for our staff. These are posted up in our staff areas at the host hill and whatnot, so everybody knows. Uh, mostly covers cash handling. People are paying with cash. We want to sanitize those bills before they go into our drawers. Uh, pin pads all get wiped down after every use, as we've been doing for the past two months. Um, the physical distancing guidelines as far as guests waiting to come in and a wait list, we've split it up so that there's a lineup for dine-in and a lineup for takeout uh, just to keep things organized. Um, and then yes, they're all based off of the uh, Alberta website information, but Boston Pizza of course does a little bit extra all the time, so we've got a little more there to cover. <laughs> <laughs> and I see a mask, so let's talk yes, about masks. Yes, I have these lovely masks here. Uh, Debbie Grande made us, I believe, about 18 of these guys. Uh, so we just have masks nice and easy to put on uh, and then for staff to wear when they're serving guests they're available to them we have um, enough for everybody and staff. she made your reversible ones yes thank you said, this one's mine <laughs> um, so, so let's talk about the menus then mm -hmm. so our menu the recommendation was either a disposable menu or a the menus would have to be sanitized after each use we have went with the disposable menu it's a one pager two-sided um, and it'll just be recycled after each use. So we just ask the guests, if you don't need four menus, please just take one so that we can keep using them for our guests. And obviously that menu scaled down because your menu is usually quite big. Yes, we have a huge menu. So this is expanded from what we've been running for the past two months. Um, and we've got, you know, the steak is back, some more appetizers are back and a few things there. It's not a full menu yet. We will have kids menu back again tomorrow. Okay. Um, so that'll be back in effect. And there's just a few things we don't, we're not, we're not at full capacity yet, and we'll get there. And my Thai chicken wrap will come soon? I'll do my best. Please? All right, so now let's let's um, walk through an, mm -hmm. a sample of, of what we would do. Okay, so now the table is full of food. You're gonna remove it now. What? Okay, so when you clear off your dishes, of course, let's pretend those are dishes. Okay. Um, if we were to clear this table, say there's a spill or whatnot, you're gonna want to wipe that stuff down first. If there's salsa or pizza sauce or whatever on the table, that'll get cleaned up first. So this one here is our quad sanitizer. It's food safe. You could drink it if you wanted to. I wouldn't recommend it. It doesn't taste good, but I have done it uh, to yes. demonstrate. <laughs> yes. Uh, so this is food safe. It's perfectly fine for food. So if you spill food on the table or whatnot, it would be perfectly fine to use. So you would just spray this on the table, give it a wipe down, get it all nice and clean and then we have these this table has been sanitized 
notices that go oh, on the tables to let them know. And so know. now, what about the chairs? Because uh, touch points are obviously a really big thing right now. That's this one here, which is a peroxide cleaner here that we got from Ecolab. So that one we use, and we just spray it onto a cloth, wipe down your chairs. This one here gets used on our pin pads and the light switches and the door handles and all the counters and railings, everything that a guest would touch. This is your high touch point cleaner, which is a disinfectant and it'll so get now, that virus. So now, obviously, Dr. Ram, we have the bathrooms. What's, what's the, what do we do there? So there's a few different things that you can do for the bathroom and I know you're gonna mention it because it's very difficult, obviously, to follow every customer, every patient. Mm -hmm. every patron into, into there every time yeah. they're going to go. So you need to maintain that distancing and clean. Yes, yeah, so we have notices on the bathroom doors stating only two people in the washroom at a time uh, for the physical distancing. Um, we also have our egg timer set and so every 15 minutes we have it go off and that's the idea of this cleaner is that every 15 minutes we just get a cloth, spray it down, wipe down everything including the washroom so that those get sanitized. If we can make it in after every guest, that is the goal. So uh, have we missed any important elements here, Dr. Ram? I think we've, we've caught some, some really big ones. And just so I can reiterate just some of the key ones. So you must have something that's written down yep. that follows at least the guidance that the Alberta government has provided. And the highlighting, it was great that you did that. Because a lot of people don't know for certain areas, you actually need to wipe down the surface first and disinfect second. That yes. is a big it's one to clean remember when you're and then sanitize. And I, I gotta say, I yeah. love the egg timer. Yeah. I know that in the hospital, AHS, they actually call it power hour. They do it every two hours, comes through the intercom. So mm -hmm. I think that's, that's fabulous that you guys are doing it. Yeah, well, we've used the egg timer for the staff hand washing for years. So now we're just adding in the sanitize the entire building. Right, <laughs> brilliant. So I guess we just want to, you know, we want to continue to remind everybody that we have to clean, clean, clean. Like COVID-19, we, we have to remember that it's we're still in that time we have to be careful that we don't take this lightly right we've still got the chance of going through the next wave hurt, right yeah, hurt wave so we just need to we need to remind our community that we just need to we're going to see an increase of visitors this weekend and we just need to keep it safe so you may want to do your grocery shopping early in the morning to avoid the crowds and please continue to practice social distancing right that's Practice social distancing, hand washing, sanitizing. Absolutely. Those are the things we gotta focus on. So it takes a community to fight this virus and together we can do it. And I know we can do it. Like these are just examples of what we can do. So I wanna thank you both. Um, this is, I know we put you on the spot, Heather. So thank you for helping us out. And of course, Dr. Ram and I are getting, are getting good at this. So I just wanna remind everybody out there, to social distance, wash your hands, sanitize, clean, 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 and stay safe and take care of yourselves. Thank you.